Hey guys, it's Elena from RH, and I'm doing this video to help a few of my folks just get a little more comfortable with Microsoft Excel. We use Excel a lot at my job at RH. Now there's a ton of videos on Excel on YouTube, so why am I doing this video? It's because my team members love the sound of my voice. So, uh, so I'm going to do two or three of these videos. So in this video, what are we going to cover? I'm going to briefly go over the user interface for Excel. I'm going to show you how to uh, enter some data, basic data. We're going to insert and delete rows and columns. And I'll show you a little bit of data formatting and then a little bit of how you work with selections, how you select data, cut and paste. Um, and that, that might be it for this video. Okay, so let's let's just dive right in here so this is what Excel looks like when you pull it up it may not look exactly like this but it'll, it'll look a little bit like this um, you aren't gonna have probably Nitro Pro or the Excel wings these are add-ons this is a this is a Python scripting add-on uh, but it'll look something like this so this right here is your menu bar okay so you've got different things on here um, so this is your your menu bar and your ribbon Okay, so this is where you access your commands in Excel. Okay, this is your function bar down here. Okay, well, we might look at that a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get to that in this video, but this is where you enter, enter functions in Excel. Um, and then uh, this is your, kind of your main main area here. This is your, what I call your data grid. Okay, so it has columns across the top that are identified by letters and rows down the bottom, uh, running down the left, running down the side here, top to bottom, those are numbered. Okay, so each cell is identified by a letter and a number. So this is A to the intersection of the column, letter, and the row number, just like in the game Battleship, very similar. You can see this is showing me the address of the cell when I click on it. Okay. Now you'll also notice when I click in a cell, it highlights that row row number and column letter for me on the side. Okay. So that's your data grid. And then down below here, we have this little status bar. Um, you know, you got you got your scroll bars here if you want them. Uh, but these, these are little tabs that have different, uh, these are individual sheets. So this is called a workbook. A workbook can have multiple worksheets. Okay, so I'm just toggling back and forth. So this is a blank. This one has some data that I've entered, some sample data. Okay, so that's the basic. Uh, that's a basic overview of the of the Excel interface. So how do you enter data? You're going to do that in the data grid, and it's super simple. You click on the cell, and there's two ways to do it. You can just start typing. Okay, and it'll enter the value there. Okay, or you can click up here in the function bar. Now, if your data doesn't fit here, uh, you can you can hover over this line in between the columns. It'll give you that symbol, and you can if you hold down your left mouse button, you can change the width. Okay, same thing with the rows. You can change how tall your rows are. Okay, or if you want, you can right click on the column and say column width, and you can enter a number here that will change it. Same thing with the rows, row height. Okay, so you can do that. Um, so that, that's how you enter data. Now your data, this is just text, but you can enter numbers too. Okay, so there's a number. So that, that's generally what we're doing, we're entering numbers or text. Okay. Now let me show you how you can format a little bit. So if you want, you can make that money, make that currency. So it just changed it to currency there. Um, you know, if you want it in euros, you can get it in euros. Okay, you can increase the number of decimals or decrease the, I'm sorry, the number of digits shown to the right of the decimal. Okay, if you want there. Uh, you can also make stuff a percent. So if you grab that, you can hit the percent, turn it into a percent if you want. So there's some basic uh, formatting tools here, right? If you have text, you can change the font. So I like Lotto, that's a Google font that I like. 
Uh, you can make it bold. You can change the color. Uh, you can um, you can fill with different fill colors. That's really jarringly ugly. Okay. If you select the cell and hit delete, it'll delete the contents but not the formatting. Or you can right click on a whole row. You can delete a row. You can right click on a column. You can delete a column. Okay. If you have some data in here, so let's just let's enter the number 10 and the number 11. Okay. To, to select, you just left click. If you hold down the left click and drag, you can select multiple cells across rows or columns. That's called a range. In Excel, once you have a range, you can hover over the corner. It gives you that little plus, and you can change the size. Okay. So if I select 10 and 11 there, and then I hover over the plus and I move it down, it will sequentially increment those. Okay. Um, and it'll actually, it's, it's pretty smart, you can do something like that. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select those and hit the delete key, and then I'm going to grab these again and just drag them down. It'll increment by fives, okay, so very handy. Okay, so now if I want, I can right-click and insert rows, okay. or I can right-click and insert columns if I want. Okay. If you want to insert more than one column at a time, you can select multiple and hit insert. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can delete those. Okay. Oop, sorry. Delete. Okay, now you can copy. So if you select those, you can go to copy and then come over here, click a cell, and you can go paste. Oop, sorry. Paste. Okay, and there's different ways to paste. We won't get into all those, but you can paste just the functions or just the values. There's different ways you can paste. Okay. But that's basic basic copy and paste there, right? Delete. You can undo and redo. Okay, so I just undid that, redid it, undid it. Okay, now let's just say uh, you want to get rid of these three numbers, but you don't want to get rid of the rows. You want to keep this data over here. You just want to delete these. Okay, but you want these numbers to move up. You select them, right click. You can say delete, and it's going to say, do you want to shift the cells left to fill the gap or up we're going to say shift up and just delete those values move those up okay so that's just some basic you know how do you select and how do you copy paste and, and delete now let's just say you want to select um, only the odd numbers in this uh, column okay you left click to select the first one then you hold down the control key and then it will only select what you pick it's not selecting the values that you don't directly click okay if you want to select a whole set of numbers adjacent to each other you hold you can click your first value hold down the shift key click your next value it selects everything in between that works for columns too left click once here shift selects everything in between you can hit, hit control and come back and deselect those okay so that's some, some basic uh, ways you can you can select. Okay, let me think about what else. Oh, I wanted to show you tabs. So uh, tabs are pretty easy. You can right click to rename. You can move or copy. So we can copy here. You click create, check create a copy. We'll say move to end. Now there's a copy here. And rename that to copy and then if you just hold this down you can actually drag this around you can drag your tabs around okay so tabs are pretty simple if you get a bunch of tabs you can use these arrows to move between your tabs it'll 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 scroll your tabs down here okay so that's how the tabs work so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this blank sheet as well and we'll save this okay so that's a very gentle introduction to just some basic operations in Excel. Okay, so to review, we kind of went over the user interface. Um, I showed you how to enter some data. I showed you how to uh, insert rows, delete, insert rows and columns, delete rows and columns, change the width and height of rows and columns. We showed you how to uh, change the font of text, the color of text, the background fill of a cell. Uh, we showed you how to um, uh, do some basic formatting of numbers as money or percents, change the number of, number of digits shown to the right of the decimal. 
we showed you how to do some selections, right? Multiple selections, select adjacent cells. Um, so that, that's a good introduction. Did a little bit on the tabs there at the bottom. Uh, so I think in the next video, what I'll do is I'll get in and we'll start to work with this data a little bit. We'll, we'll uh, show you guys how to enter some functions to do some basic calculations. Um, we'll, we'll do some data sorting. Um, you know, we'll do, we'll, we'll show you again some inserting some rows and inserting cells and doing some formatting. We'll, we'll work with this sample data, sample data here a little bit. Um, I think that'll be helpful to, to work with some actual data. So I hope this video helps. Uh, Emma and Monique and um, Nikki and Austin and some of my other folks uh, get a little more comfortable with, with Microsoft Excel.